Hamburger uh, Pony. Thank you for calling Subway. How may I help you? I was supposed to say, this is James. How may I help you? But I wasn't about to tell this random <laughs> stranger my name. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, oh, the other person on the line like said, Hey, what time do you guys close? In five minutes. Is it alright if I show up late? I just need gas. And being the good employee that I was, Now your hand up to the sky, can do that with a go, then draw your whole map, and we might leave that. Welcome to LJ Reaction Music. The all went out. Wrong number. Wrong number, wrong number, you type on your phone, and you dial wrong number, and you didn't meant to dial th that number, but you, but you end up dialing it anyway. Hello? Uh, okay. It's for you, James. Hey, James, this is James from the future. Just wanted to give you a call and let you know that... Puberty can be tough, but you can get oh, through it. Oh, oh. So I just wanted to let you know that everything's going to be okay, and I love you. What? You got the wrong number. I How are you going the wrong number? Smartphones were a new thing, and everyone in my class had one, except for me. My parents never got me one because they didn't hey, want me... Hey, hold on. Oh, it, it was just me. I actually started uh, getting uh, a phone... An uh, actual phone, phone until like once I got middle school. But when I got middle school, I really had time. Like I know those small phone, the, the small rectangle phone where you only can text and call and play those two two little mini game. That's it. That's the phone I have. I end up getting a a phone where I could put anything on it. That phone had minutes on it. I be could play on that phone too. High school. I really started actually getting a big smart phone like that. I had the iPhone 6 until until I graduated out of high school. That when I started like actually buying my own phone and getting my own phone that I wanted. Internet on a device that could fit in my pocket because yeah. they were super strict and didn't want me looking at Oh that's stuff, why which backfired horribly. That's so what they you're never gave me a about. smartphone. In fact, I didn't even get my first cell phone until I was 16 years old. 16? Now, as an adult who uses a cell phone every day, I don't know Damn. how I survived for 16 years. You survived I think when I was younger, if I was ever in a situation where I needed to call my parents, right. I would just ask the nearest person if I could borrow their phone. Now, if there's any parents They're watching not gonna this who haven't given phone. their children a cell phone yet, take it from a guy on the internet with no children. You should get them one. It doesn't have to be a smart one. You can just yeah. give them your standard yeah, drug dealer phone. True, true, you should at true. least give them a cell phone stand, in case there's an emergency right and they need to call yeah, people or the police. The only downside I can think of giving your what? child a phone is they'll end up spending too much time on it. So you should just turn off their service from time to time. I don't know. When I turned 16 and finished up Was my that year of high school, I got my very no first way. cell phone. An right. LG Cosmos 2. I, I didn't I, grow up I, in the I, 90s. That, who, everyone who, else had did iPhones, you know about that but I was phone. the only one with a, flip, with a phone that had a keyboard on it. And with that cell phone, I've had a couple of incidences where sometimes a random person would call me thinking I was someone else and then wouldn't admit they're wrong. And that's how you segue into the theme of this month's video. What? This first story happened when I was working at Suabway. Uh, that's right, another Suabway story. Subway. Hashtag Suabway 4. Not it wasn't good enough way. to be it's in the Subway. other three. So, it was five minutes until closing, I, uh, and we get a phone call on the Suabway phone. I pick it up and it? say, A hamburger phone? Uh, Thank you for calling Suabway. How may I help you? I was supposed to say, This is James. How may I help you? But I wasn't about to tell this random <laughs> stranger my name. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, oh, the other person on the line like said, Hey, Robin what time did. do you guys close? In five minutes. Is it alright if I show up late? I just need gas. And being the good employee that I was, I was totally willing to make this guy's sandwich over the phone, let him pick it up after we closed, and then I wouldn't ring him up and just pocket the money. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. That's a crime. Wait, wait Please, that happened? Me. So I said, I thought that really yeah, happened. That. What kind of sandwich do you want? And he said, I just need gas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Why in the world would you call Subway for a gas? Subway is not a gas station line. Who in the right mind calls Subway a sandwich shop for gas? I think, I think the man needs to help. 
like, like, do you, do you really need a guidance counselor and sit down and, like, and drop down some notes and figure out what, 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 what you did wrong? Cause at this point, you did something wrong. Here, this sandwich will give you plenty of gas. I, I, I mean, do you want chips That's or not something? the gas you're talking no, about! Said, I just need gas. I was a little so, confused. So, so you mean, okay. mean, yes. uh, um, so yeah. no, get gas, but that the then gas are you going to stop by and pick up a sandwich? And he said, I don't want a sandwich. And then it hit me. Even though the first thing I ever said to this guy was, it's so Thank weird. you for calling you call Subway, all number, dumb. I think he thought he was talking to a gas station. So I said, oh my sir, God. this is a Subway? Oh. <laughs> And I never got the chance to tell him that oh gas my pumps God. don't close. Oh my God. This next story happened when I was at home, and I got a call from a number I didn't recognize. Now, I've had friends tell me that they don't answer the phone to any number they don't recognize. But my anxiety won't let me do that. What if it's your bank calling saying your account got hacked? Yeah. What if it's your grandma? Because why would you have her yeah, saved like... in your phone? Or what if it's your Nigerian uncle who wants to give you his yeah, collection what, of gold bars that? and needs your information for a wire transfer? You just never know. So I always pick up the yeah. phone. So I you, answered you it, and it was this woman asking know. for a Lawrence. And I said, oh, I'm not, that's, you have the wrong number. And she goes, isn't this 416295? That's obviously not a real number, so don't try calling it. No, this is 416293. Because that's my phone number. Again, that's not actually a valid phone number, so please don't call it. And she goes, three? I don't think I pressed three. And I don't know what to say to this woman. Are you sure? Because my sure number is 416293. It's really not. But she doesn't think she pushed three. So I don't know how she's talking to me right now. Uh -huh. Unless oh, she did. So I said... Well, obviously, you did. And then I made a comic about the whole situation because what the f I thought the internet would think it was funny. This why, next story happened why, not too why, long ago. Why? I got a call from a number I didn't I, I, recognize at 9.30 in the morning. And I was in lying morning. in my bed, asleep. And most people would agree that you're supposed to be awake and productive at 9.30. And I didn't want yeah. whoever this stranger was thinking I'm lazy, so I had to answer the phone with my best... I've been awake for several hours, voice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Hello? You're going to have to come quickly. Timmy fell down to well, Vance. Uh, oh, Timmy! Uh, what? Who is Timmy? I said, you're going to have to come quickly because... Who is Timmy? And why Timmy down well? Is anybody there to help him? Why you didn't call fire department and, and ask them... To uh help you get Tim down real. Why you call an ambulance? The cops. Why will you call a random stranger to help you get Tim down real? And instead you call nine one one. You call him. What are you supposed to do to get Tim down from the wheel? Timmy fell down the well, Vance. I could tell it was a woman on the phone, but it was either her accent or the phone being buggy, or I just had woken up. But I could not understand anything she was saying. But I could make out one word, which was Vance. So, I did not have a lot to go off of. I, I... said, I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> well, I should probably get the day started, I thought, as I went back to yeah. sleep. But then immediately, I got a call from the same number. And I thought, okay. Maybe if this person is calling again, even after I explicitly told her she had the wrong number, maybe it's not a wrong number after all. Maybe yeah, there's something yeah, else going yeah, on. Right. Maybe it's an emergency. Yeah, so that. maybe a how down fire mm, or talk she to me. broke her leg or something. Okay. Who advanced? I can't understand anything you're saying. Who advanced? That's so all then this I woman must have handed advanced. the phone to her Who friends advanced? because a different voice started talking, and I could actually understand her, and I'll never forget what she said, which was, Vance, no one thinks that you're funny. And even though I'm not Vance, that kind of hurt. So I stated the obvious, Dang. which was, yes, I am. And also, I'm not Vance. And she said, no, Lance. 
So this whole time, these two have been looking for a lance. So a I lance? told this woman, well, I don't I'm use not a lance either. And she said, well, this is the number they gave me. Okay, if she had said it like, oh, I'm sorry, this is the number they yeah. gave me. I didn't mean to call you, stranger. Yeah, you should Also, I that. do think you're funny and enjoy your videos. Then that would have been totally fine. She's just shifting the blame to someone else. Mm -hmm. But instead, she sounded so condescending, like I was wasting her time. Well, this is the number they gave me, and they can't be wrong, so you must be the real Lance. So I said, well, they must have given it to you wrong. Look, I'm too tired to be polite. But then, she hung up on me. Like, this woman just basically that called a random up. person, said, you're not funny, and then hung up. So I decided wow. to call her back and Why said, are you hey, calling her I back? just found the real Lance. He's the funniest guy I ever met, and he told me he doesn't give his phone number out to rude pieces of shit. Just kidding on the last part. I thought about doing it, but then I went back to sleep. I didn't do it. And then someone on the internet found my, my phone number, and I changed it. And whoever has my old number is probably getting a lot of calls from strangers and people I went to high school with. So I don't know. For me, I I did actually got a random number call me back to back. Like even uh one number that called me for some technician on on a car car, but I never own a car, but if like they own a car, then it would be stupid to call me. Then another one called me by a house, uh electricity. Well, for one, I don't own a house, but if I did, then the wrong number. And uh, like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you won't miss every reaction music. And down in the description, my second channel, Every Worldwide, will be down in the description where I play different video uh, games on that uh, channel.